next guest, the man who has apparently won the election to be the next mayor of Atlantic City, Don Guardian. We welcome you to the program. We say apparently because the Board of Elections hasn't certified it yet. Any doubt in your mind that they, I guess there were provisional ballots still out there. Any doubt in your mind that you won? Well, there's always a doubt. There's about 550 uh, votes still to be counted. I think about 100, 150 will probably be disqualified. Um, and then um, I'm ahead 385, so I, I need to win half of that. But I'm a Boy Scout. I'll be prepared. If I lose, I'll be going back to the Special Improvement District and be very creative in running half the city. Or if I win, I'll continue with the plans to get the city reorganized. The, just before we came on the air, uh, Jim Schroeder, who's the Atlantic County Dem Chair, claimed that there's a, uh, there are Republican operatives in Atlantic City intimidating, harassing, and trying to suppress the vote with those who file provisional ballots. Uh, do you have any idea of Republican operatives in the city a meeting or going out to see people who file those ballots? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not aware. I, I know they were trying to check to make sure that each of the individual ballots actually resided in the city and that the addresses that were listed actually existed. So they weren't vacant uh, lots. So you're saying though that there are people out there who are trying to corroborate that the people who... who no question yeah. about it. We were very concerned about that. I, I walked uh, all summer. I, I uh, knocked on 3,000 doors, and so I used a voter registration list, and I was surprised myself sometimes finding 10 or 15 uh, people registered in the same single-family home or people registered on vacant lots. So I know there's some concern. Do you, you think that they... Well, what do you make of, of the charge then? That, that the Democrats are charging that the Republicans you, you're, and your, your campaign essentially is trying to suppress the vote or overturn this? Uh, I think we're going to be fine either way. You can count all 550 votes and I think we'll be fine. You can find people that uh, weren't qualified to vote for whatever reason. I think we'll be fine there too. All right, you, you mentioned your background with the casinos. This, you're no stranger to this story and to what's going on down there. Uh, I guess we get the, the casino numbers again tomorrow. The monthly numbers have been bad for a long time. They have. You, you're dealing now with, uh, I mean, uh, taxes going, having to go down, refunds having to be made to these casinos. What are you going to so, do? How are you going to well, handle that? Uh, certainly, Atlantic City is a book, and this is just another chapter. And the concept of casinos uh, being uh, all by themselves, you know, uh, east of the Mississippi is, is gone. Uh, and, and so we open up a new chapter. And that new chapter is going back to being a destination resort, with casinos being only one of the type of entertainments that, that you can enjoy when you're coming down there. So I think uh, casinos themselves are, are now being uh, re redefined in being hotels that are offering fine dining and entertainment. And but can you make enough issues. money that way? I mean, with Borgata, I saw one estimate that it's, it's the, the amount of money you'd have to give back to Borgata because of the, of the, uh, the tax issue. It's almost, what, 25 percent of your... How, how much is it? It's $48 million, and we've had to bond before. That, yeah. That's how the city has made it there. But it's bringing the casinos to the table and finding a fair and equitable way to uh, judge how casinos are going to pay their, their fair assessment of, of taxes. And, yeah. and that's what we're going to start with. We haven't sat down with casinos for years now. Yeah, well, it, the question is how many casinos will be left in some respects. You had Atlantic club going to bankruptcy uh, reorganization last week. Revel, I mean, that's certain. Does that sound... So, do you, so what do you Revel, know about Revel? Is Revel heading for bankruptcy again? So, so Revel is a very large, very expensive property, beautiful property, but they really need to have the right company that owns it that's going to be able to attract... Uh, uh, so you're telling me you players. think it's going to be sold? I do. All right. Uh, with all this... You, you wanted this job. This, is, this sounds like a very tough job. Yeah, it is a tough job, but I'm up for the challenge. I've been uh, running the Special Improvement District for 20 years, and the last two and a half years I've been part of the Tourism District, part of the CRD8 state of New Jersey. And half of the city is in the Tourism District. It only took me a couple of months to figure out how to clean the streets every day and uh, f fix the lighting, make it more safe, put in bus shelters, do trash cans, uh, run special events, get people excited and feel good. Good. Now I want to take care of the other half of the city where the residents live. Don Guardian, we'll continue to watch this story unfold. Thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you very much.